Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. So in this video, I want to share with you how you can fix the issue of your WooCommerce store uh, is not sending email. So this is quite a common issue when uh, wherever by right when you receive a new e-commerce order when someone pay for a product in your store you should receive an email notifying you that a new order has been placed so sometimes you uh, cannot receive this email so in this video i'm going to share with you how you can troubleshoot and resolve this issue so the first thing is that when you discover that you are not receiving the email from your WooCommerce store, the first thing you should do is to go to your website and test out is it only that you are not receiving the WooCommerce email or is it you also not receiving other email? So for example, you need to do a simple test of going to your contact form and type in a, a test message and click submit and from here check your email and to see if you receive this message or not so if you receive this message it means that only woocommerce a plugin has issued sending email but if you are also not receiving your contact form message it means your server is not sending out uh, emails so these are two separate issues so let me talk about the first scenario first so which means that now you enter your all the information you click submit and you receive the email from your contact form okay so it means that you just not receiving the woocommerce email but you receive your contact form a message so in that case let's go to the dashboard and go to woocommerce uh, settings so it should be the issue that your woocommerce uh, email issue so go to emails so go to woocommerce emails and scroll down and you will see there's an email sender option make sure that this from address is sending out from the domain of your e-commerce store okay so this is a common uh, mistake so in this case i can change it to e-com so this is my domain okay so because when the domain doesn't match it will have issues sending out the email so this is the first place you should check if this is correct then go to the settings over here you can see that the first row it says new order so this controls the new order email so click on manage new order click on manage button and check if this chat box is checked so this chat box is checked so enable this email notification and recipient so enter your email which email should receive this new order notification okay so make sure that this check and this is the email that you are checking to make sure that the order email being sent to okay so this is where you should check if let's say you are not receiving the woocommerce email but you receive the contact form email okay right now let's talk about the scenario number two so which means that after you enter all the information here and click submit you are also not receiving this contact form information so this means your server is not sending out uh, emails in general okay so in this case you need to go to your plugin go to install plugin to take a look at your plugin and to check do you have any sm tp plugin installed so for my case uh, i do not have any smtp plugin so this means that by default my website is using the server email function and just for your information in recent months a lot of shared hosting uh, server email is not reliable anymore especially 
um, if your email address is sending to a Gmail. So what I would suggest is that if you are not using any SMTP plugin, please go and install a SMTP plugin. It will make your email sending more reliable and not relying on your uh, server. So just type in SMTP. And we are going to install the most popular plugin, which is this one, WP Mail SMTP, over 3 million active installations. So I just click install. So once it has been installed, it will show you a button to ask you to activate. Again, click on activate. Okay. And once the plugin has been activated, it will show you this screen. You can just click go back to the dashboard over here. And you can scroll down. SMTP means a simple mail transfer protocol. So it is important to do not use default. So that's why once you install this plugin, you can use any one of the uh, below. I would suggest also not to use Google and it is not so stable. Uh, Gmail's API has many limitations. I would suggest that you use Brevo. It is a very generous, they have a generous free plan that you can use it for free to up to 300 emails every day. So I use Brevo for all my website. So you can just go to Brevo and sign up account or you can just click here, get Brevo now free to get a free account. And once you paste in the API key that you can find in your Brevo account and click save setting and now your email should be working already. So it is a very straightforward configuration. If you need to, I can create another video to show you exactly how to do this Brevo uh, integration. But uh, the step is pretty straightforward. You just can just read the instruction over here. So that I hope that you find this video useful uh, to fix your WooCommerce email uh, not sending issue. Okay. And I will also want to suggest that you can install a plugin in your website as well. So this plugin will also help to check your email server reliability. You can search for automatic email testing plugin. This plugin is developed by WebRuddy. So once you install this plugin, this simple plugin will check your email, website email every day and to send you an email to prove that uh, your email server is working every day. And it's a free plugin also. So you can go ahead and give you a try. Okay, so if you have any questions, just feel free to post in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.